And last thing we'll talk about is compound interest. So here we're going to start with the letter N. N is going to be the number of times uh, it's going to be compounded. per year. Keyword per year. So every word I read you happens how many times in a year? So annually takes place once a year. Semi-annually means twice. Quarterly, there are four quarters in a year. Monthly, there are 12 months. Weekly, hopefully you know there are 52 weeks in a year. And last, we have daily, which is 365 days in a year. Um, so now we're going to go to this compound interest formula. So it says, consider initial principal P deposited in an account that pays interest at an annual rate R expressed as a decimal compounded N times per year. The amount A in the account after T years is given by this function. So once again, A is the amount in the account after T years. P is your principal. It's like your initial amount. 1 plus R is your rate, but we're going to express that as a decimal. So it's given us percent. We convert it to a decimal. N is the number of times it's compounded in a year. So this N is going to relate back to this chart here. So if it said quarterly, I know it's N is 4. But now you're going to notice that N is in two places. N is here and N is here. And last, we have T for time. Okay, so let's read through this problem here and let's see if we can figure things out here. So I'm going to write these letters out. It's not necessary to do this, but I'm just showing you how I identify things. So you deposit $9,000 in an account. So I'm depositing 9,000 is my initial principal. Um, that pays 1.46%. So that's my rate, but um, the rate has to be expressed as a decimal. So what we do is we move this decimal two to the left. So it becomes 0 0.0146. Find the balance after three years, which is time. So times three, when interest is compounded quarterly. So once I see compounded, then I see quarterly, that automatically tells me to go and look at that list or know what it is. So over here, if I go back, compounded quarterly is four. So the only thing I don't know is A. So that's what it wants to find out. So you deposit $9,000 in an account that pays 1.46% annual interest, find the balance after three years, if it's compounded quarterly. Okay, so let's plug it into the formula. So you can see the formula up here. So A equals principal, which is 9,000, one plus R, which is 0 0.0146 over N, which is four, raised to the T power, which is three. Okay, then you just simply take that and type it into a calculator. Doesn't have to be a TI, it could be a basic scientific calculator, but this is what I have right now. So, okay, so 9,000 parentheses one plus control divide 0 0.0146, arrow down, four, arrow out, to make sure the parentheses is there, too many, caret, and we have, ah, so I almost made a mistake there. Um, you need n again, which is 4 times the number of years 3, which is 12. But I'll continue writing it as 4 times 3. So that's 12. Press enter. Um, one thing I always like to do is sometimes I feel like this number is not always correct. So just go back up, arrow it, hit enter, make sure it does it correctly. So 9402 point, we round money to two decimal places. So 21, we look at the number after, which is a 0. So four and under, the number stays the way it is, so that one doesn't change. But if this was five or higher, then that one would go up. In this case, it's a zero, so it's $9,402.21. 9, oops, 9,402.21.